Here's a quick video about graphing functions of a certain form, f of g of x, y. What do I mean by that? Well, let's look at an example. Let's look at a cosine of x plus y. Here, we've got an inner function, which is genuinely a function of two variables, but it's a relatively simple function of two variables, just g of x, y is x plus y. And then that gets put into a function of only one variable, just cosine u. And I want to look especially at the contour plot, but we'll look at both kinds of plots. So let's use MATLAB to produce some nice plots of those. Here's the contour plot on the left. Here's the 3D plot on the right. You see, if you look at it kind of horizontally, you can see the cosine shape clearly. But what's interesting about it is that it's, there's a lot of straight line features as well, and those show up very explicitly in the contour plot. The contour plot is all just straight lines. Where'd the, where'd the cosine curves go? Okay. Well, they shouldn't be there, and this is, here's why. When we look at finding a contour for that, we're going to take cosine of x plus y. Let's say set that equal to 0, find the 0 contour. OK, how do we solve that? We just strip off that cosine. Now, it has the interesting feature of having multiple solutions. But the main thing is, once we've figured out those solutions, those just come in as numbers. And we're just going to get a straight line. x plus y is a number. x plus y is a different number. x plus y is a different number. Those are all straight lines because the only place where the two variables come in together is in this inner function, and that's relatively simple in this case. So that's why we get over here, we get a bunch of straight lines. And they're repeated straight lines. You can see the green repeats and the blue repeats and the red repeats. That's because of the multiple solutions. But it's crucial that the contour plot is just going to be straight lines. So for example, if we change the outer function, we could ta change the outer function to uh, the exponential function, maybe. OK. Well, now it gets really, it gets rather funky. OK. Uh, that wasn't a great example because we don't see a lot of them. But we can see whatever we see here, we see straight lines. Uh, I forgot about the scaling there. Uh, we could look at just x plus y uh, quantity squared. OK. Straight lines again. OK. Again, when we look at it sideways, we see the parabola. But when we look at it on the top, well, all we see is straight lines, bands of straight lines of color. And the, x, the contour plot makes that very explicit, that it's just straight lines. Okay. Another example would be, maybe let's go back to, well, let's go back to, yeah, let's go back to cosine. But now change the, the function in, in the middle, the g function. Let's make that x squared plus y squared. Okay. Um, for some reason, it's taking a while to do that. OK. Oh, ooh, it doesn't like that at all. That's, that's very, well, we can see the circles here. Let's see. Uh, I think it's just, it's just too jumbled. You can see in the middle it's good, but the resolution, it's actually like a kind of a Native American uh, kind of portrait. That's pretty cool. OK. Um, let's do this. When the oscillation gets too fast, computers have a real hard time graphing. And so let's reduce that by about a factor of 10. OK, there we go. OK, it looks like an octopus or, a, well, a four, four tentacled octopus or a quadrupus, I guess. OK, so you can see the oscillation kind of in the, the, the graph in the vertical direction. But here, the level curves are just circles. Who cares that it's a cosine? That affects what values we get and what the colors are and what labels we would put here. But it doesn't affect the fact that these things are still just circles. Because if we solve this equal to a constant, we'd strip off the cosine and the over 10, and we get x squared plus y squared is some constant. And that's the only place where the two variables actually mix. Um, another example would be, uh, let's say we have x squared plus y squared, I don't think we need the over 10, plus, let's say, x squared plus y squared, well, let's say square root. Since it's positive, we can do that, and it shouldn't screw up. OK. So let me just pretty print that a little bit here. What we're doing is. Um, x squared plus y squared plus the square root of x squared plus y squared. We're seeing a lot of x's and y's, but everywhere we see x and y, they only show up in this combination. Okay, So this is the same model, but f of u is just a little bit com more complicated. It's u plus the square root of u. And g of xy is x squared plus y squared. Okay, The claim is it's going to be another pattern with just circles. OK, and indeed, looks just kind of like a bowl here. Even though this looks like a complicated function, it's actually very easy to say what kinds of shapes the contours are going to have, because it's a function only of x squared plus y squared, and we know that those make circles.
So that's pretty cool.